Welcome to the Big Fat Real Estate Checks Podcast with Marco Kozlowski, where we help investors like you get the knowledge and skills you need to replace your J-O-B with passive cash flow for life. Hey everyone, welcome to Big Fat Real Estate Checks. My name is Marco Kozlowski and this is Gabriela Raish. We are Francesco Galuccio less today. <laughs> he is teaching uh, Success Reflex uh, right around the corner uh, and uh, this is Kasa Kozlowski. You probably will hear him throughout the podcast <laughs> yelling and shouting, uh, which will be just him whispering, in fact, uh, telling someone a secret. That's usually how that you works. You might hear him through the next four podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we love Frank, though. We really do. Absolutely. If it wasn't for Frank, we couldn't be doing Success Reflex and doing a podcast at the same time. So uh, don't take any of this teasing uh, personally, no. uh, Frank. I, know he I don't think he does. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I don't. I, I think he knows yeah. how much we love him. So, uh, welcome, listener. Uh, for those of you who do not know who Francesco Galuccio is, uh, in our compadre, our partner in crime, the third or fourth or fifth musketeer, uh, just simply go to the very beginning of our uh, of, of this uh, fantastic, I think, fantastic podcast. Over fifteen hundred star, five star reviews. Uh, go to the first ten for sure and listen to how asset based lending works. Uh, this is uh, this is a podcast. Our mission, our vision, our purpose is to uh, give uh, you, the listener, as much value as possible by showing you how, using skill and very simple processes, you can really completely change your financial future uh, by applying skill and uh, tapping into the existing resources that are available that most people don't even know they had access to. So uh, keep on listening. Enjoy this. Of course, subscribe and share this as much as possible. We want as many humans to get this information as possible. And of course, we do teach classes uh, where you, we can really sit you down for three days, get you focused, and make you get deals done if that's something that you want to get done. And uh, our objective is always to um, to make sure that you um, get the best possible gun. <clears throat> Hang on a second. Oliver, I'm teaching a podcast. I'm <laughs> doing a podcast. Gotcha. Now I have to redo it. Text me, please, in the future. <clears throat> My son should know better. All right, so hang on a second. Um, our mission, our vision, our purpose. Our mission, our vision, our purpose is for you to get the best possible content and, of course, share this information. Uh, we want you to uh, be as successful as possible in the soonest amount of time possible so you can um, really change the course of your future. I think I've already said that. I'm going to say it again. So uh, here we go. So today we're going to be discussing listening, uh, active listening specifically. This is, this is uh, something that I've seen uh, over and over again. In fact, I'm guilty of this myself, uh, you know, as you might or might not know I've been divorced twice and my first wife did tell me that I never listened to her but I really never heard her say that so I uh this not listening and being present and being uh in the moment yeah. in the moment yes thank you is uh is extremely important and uh not being robotic uh, I have many people that uh, hear something or hear uh uh, I guess a series of words that they want to say and then they use those exact se series of words in a different context and it doesn't work and it's important to uh, listen intently as to um, what is being communicated so whatever tools you have you can apply them effectively uh, through really paying attention and listening um, uh, Gabe uh, Gabe and I were you know we've seen this so many times specifically you know when we're, we're helping our own tribe uh, communicate with sellers where they they are responding to respond or you're talking to talk instead of actually really listening to what's happening or what they're communicating what your counterpart is communicating what your counterpart is actually trying to say and then you're just saying something that's completely different and it makes no sense and you wonder why things fall apart so uh, Gabe I don't know if you want to talk about that yeah well I just I, you know if you've you feel like you've heard us talk about active listening before uh, than you were listening. Uh, we did discuss this, uh, but we discussed this from the perspective of, you know, you as, as, as the buyer in a, in a situation where you're communicating with a seller and, and the reason you have to active listen is, or to listen actively, I should say, is because you're, you're going to get some clues from this, from the seller and that's going to help you craft a better deal or create a better deal for uh, both parties, not just yourself. But I, I think, you know, what, what triggered us to want to discuss this today is 
uh, there's situations where because you're not active listening or you're not, you know, really understanding the situation, you can actually hurt the seller in the process or, or you know, uh, make them go down a path that they, they think they're going down when you really don't want to go down that same path. So I think that's kind of what we want to touch on today. Um, Marco, I don't know if you want to kind of brush over that situation and we can dig dive or what is it? deep dive into the situation and why you know th this could hurt a seller uh what was that i wasn't listening <laughs> just kidding yeah, of course you are <laughs> uh yes so so um are we oh, no i really i was scolding my son to tell you the truth i wasn't actually listening uh, <laughs> this is really fucked up uh are you talking about what I, I just sent you, this uh, the situation? Yeah, well, I'll sent you, yeah. yeah, yeah if yeah. you want to, you know, so to, to protect the innocent, uh, kind of paint it uh, differently. Protect the guilty. Yeah, protect, the, yeah. no, protect the guilty. Uh, I'm going to protect the guilty, not the innocent, because the innocent don't need to be protected. <laughs> uh, it's it's the, uh, <laughs> the um, well, for, first of all, there was an instance of a, uh, of a, I'm actually going to make a make up a made up example, because this one that, that uh, I, I was quasi- uh, joking about on listening is the um, is, is a circumstance which is actually very common where a seller is asking for a ginormous amount of money. Actually, Gabe, you were saying this before we actually started the podcast. Mm -hmm. Is uh, using a ten million dollar example where someone you know wants ten million dollars for uh, an asset that typically sells for you know the the cash flow value. Let's call it a hundred thousand dollars. And there's not a market where there's a one cap return, right? So it's let's say it's it has a hundred thousand dollars in in income and in net income, and they want ten million dollars because that's what they want, uh, and that's just what they want ten million dollars. And when I'm when I'm replying to a seller, uh, first of all, there's a, there's a process to replying, and I don't know if we've gone into the ABC response structure in past podcasts, but there's a I have a an ABC response structure. It's actually uh, a very critical stru structure where first we acknowledge what the uh what the what the human is con communicating uh we want them to uh know uh, either th there's a no because in there that's k-n-o-w uh and in the k-n-o-w there's i want you to know something the word now is also in k-n-o-w and the word no is also in k-n-o-w so there's uh there's three words in the word k-n-o-w in no i want you to know something so there's the uh, the acknowledgement of whatever's being communicated. Oh, you want you know hundred million dollars for your property that only generates a hundred thousand, uh, and then there's got to be a no in there, which is no. We're not. There's no way on God's green earth we're going to buy this with the capital that we have access to. And there's a, the, a very important critical thing here is that we're saying no. We're not going to do that. Don't touch me there. It's not going to happen. And the C in the ABC structure, so I don't leave you hanging in and blue balled, is uh, a command of some kind. That's what the C stands for, is command. When you do something, I'm going to do something. And uh, this structure is very simple, but actually spend, I've spent years really developing uh, the nuances within that. And it's one of the things that I really go into in my, not only my three day, but when I mentor someone and we all mentor someone, we really discuss uh, at nauseum, uh, which is a lot harder than it seems. Uh, to to do this, but uh, it's 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 weird how hard this is because uh, listening is not something that we typically do, right? We're all worried about us, 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 me, 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 me. I'm worried about. I want to talk about myself. Enough about me. Let's talk about myself. <laughs> Um, you know, uh, and then we we we're always in that mode. And when someone is communicating with you, uh, a you have to really listen. B you have to be honest, saying we're not going to bite at this number. It's not going to happen, right? And it has to be that clear. Uh, and then here's what, and this, the command is, you know, what did they need to do next to get your money? Basically, what do they need to do next to get your money or the money that you have access to? Because we never use your, our own money, which if you've been following me for a while, you know this. So um, it's clear, actionable next steps. So we're moving, we're moving what I call the needle forward into the direction of, uh, you know, of, 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 of an impasse where we can actually create the deal. And coming back to this example of this $10 million that Gabe uh, talked about before we started is unless you're clear that there's going to, if, unless you say no and no does mean no, I actually have some videos on this uh, in, within our, our own curriculum that no does mean no, unless it's clear that you're not the buyer at this number, they're really not going to want to do anything with you or you're going to give them false hope, yeah. which is I think what we had, uh, what you had, uh, discovered in this email uh, yeah. email chain is 
you're 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 having these long lengthy conversations which went on for weeks months mm -hmm. without the word no i'm not going to do this actually being present and what do you think will happen if i'm talking to someone that believes that you're going to give them money and then you keep giving them hope and then you string them along for a period of time and then one day you actually do just to get them off your back say no what do you think the reaction is going to be on your counterpart side shouldn't be too complicated <laughs> they're, they're gonna be they're gonna be extremely upset and they might say uh, well they probably will say a lot of things that you won't like hearing so a few choice so, words. yeah yeah, yeah, few yeah choice exactly words. Yeah. You'll, you're here you'll hear fuck is an adjective an adverb a, a verb uh, a know, noun you name a it a verb thing. noun pronoun yeah it's it'll, you'll, you'll get a lot of really nice fuck, fuckity fuck 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 yeah that yeah yeah you'll get yeah. You'll, you'll get some poetry yeah. absolutely yeah. so and 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 that's that's it's it's cruel to a certain extent and if you've ever been in a situation where you needed something and someone strung you along that's you, you'll know how you know exactly how that feels the the, the issue is a lot of people go through this with maybe i guess in, in in love where they're attracted to someone and they think they're going to be able to go on a date or whatnot and then that just gets crushed late and then you get upset but when it comes to finances and somebody's in a really uh, difficult pickle financially and that they see this glimmer of hope that they might actually get out of this and not you know have to to to, to go down the rabbit hole of of uh, of, of financial distress and depression it, it's 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 almost like it's compounded cruelty so it's extremely important to to shut that down immediately or let them know exactly what what the situation is in in the example of 10 million dollars let's let's just say that that property is actually in a five cap market where it's worth two million dollars you're so far apart like there's no way even if the seller were to come down to seven or six million or they say hey i'm gonna give you a 50 percent off you're gonna get you know it's five million dollars it's yours it's a steal uh, yes it is because they're gonna be stealing from us but it's it's you have to say no and 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 it has to be clear and then if they want your money then you have to give them a direction of you know how they can get it and whether that's like you have to come way way lower or you're gonna have to come down to a number that you're not gonna like below half in this case use choice words that are clear that hey if it's not under this number you know we're not even gonna you know we're not even gonna entertain it and and you know we're not your buyer and saying things like we're not your buyer makes things clear it's it's we're not gonna buy it uh don't beat around the bush is is i think one of the things that we see a lot is they they wanna I guess it's to a certain extent that's a little bit related to leaving the store, right? Where people kind of just linger there and they, you know, they tell you, yeah. they, you know, they're creepy. Yeah, they're creepy. <laughs> exactly. They're creepy. So they're, they're creepy. you, you got to tell yeah. them straightforward and, 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 and be honest. And I think being honest and genuine, it, it brings a lot of value. You actually might get surprised as to what can happen when you're genuine and, and transparent. Maybe they have some other deal that, you know, maybe this one is not right for you and that they have something else that might, you know, might be for you. So, uh, ultimately just don't give a seller uh any false hope or any hope that that you're not going to be able to do anything that you say that you will so uh, ma make sure you're, you're you're genuine with that and that's not just about you that's about them you 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 want to make sure that they are helped and if you're not the person to help them then they need to look for another another person to help them so it's just like a doctor if you go to a doctor and you say you know i have uh, a stomach ache and and you ended up at a dentist and you know the dentist just says you know did, you know can did you do this or you know uh, does does your tooth hurt and they ask you all these questions around your mouth and you keep you know answering these questions and then they tell you you know three weeks later listen I'm a dentist I don't know anything about stomachs um, yeah like you know how are you gonna react and and so all you want is that dentist to tell you hey I'm a dentist I can't help you with this but you know what this guy knows stomachs go see him. And, and that's it. That's that's as much as it is. And they'll be grateful for that, believe it or not. And you have helped them. And, and this may sound like a silly example, but it's exactly what's going on. Yeah. Or going to a dentist and getting a colonoscopy. That's a wrong cavity. It's a little different. Yeah. Right. Nobody it likes that, different. whether you're honest or not. No. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I think I think there's two things which hope and clarity. Right. Uh, you want to be clear. You want to be honest. And because if you're not honest, you're rubbing them the, of the opportunity to actually get helped. Right. You're you're robbing them of that chance that robbing them of time, um, which is worse than money, because as people get are, are injured or sick or old, 
they don't have time to waste. They don't have time anymore to, 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 to wait around. They just want a clear answer. Now, I do want to remind you that saying no allows you to say yes to other things. So when you say no to one thing, you say yes to everything else, right? And if you say yes to one thing, then you say no to everything else. So there's nothing wrong with saying no at all. No, I can't help you with this number. There's, you know, I'd love to help you. I just can't help you with this number. It's not going to happen. So by being that clear, there's, it's, you're not, you're actually inviting them to come down on price at the same time, as opposed to saying, well, let me see what I can do. Let me see what, if you're taking responsibility for someone else's problem, or I, I, I'm wanting $10 million for a property that's only worth one, you know, God bless you that you want 10, not going to bite at this number. And by the way, that's, that's almost my reaction to everything. If they want a million dollars for a million dollar property, I'd love to buy it, not buying it at this number, not going to happen. Um, and then if they want $10, I think we got a property yesterday where the, the seller wants a dollar, a dollar. I don't know if you saw I that, saw but there's, there's, there's someone in the community that found a deal where the seller wants a dollar and I'm, I, and guess what I'm going to say? I'm not going to buy it at this number. You're going to have to pay me because it must be a, a dump. There must be taxes that are owed. There must be problems. You're writing me a check to buy it. And I know that sounds weird, but no, I'm not going to buy it at this number. It's too, it's not going to happen. What's the worst thing that they, that, that they say? No, <laughs> as well. The worst they, they can say is, you know, nothing. There's nothing that they can say that's worse. They could yell at you, but doesn't, it doesn't make you change your mind. It's, it's again, you're, you're the, the, you're the uh, custodian for the cash. That's how I want you to look at this, right? Exactly. You're the custodian because you don't really own the money anyway. If you are using U.S. money, look on a, on a $100 bill. It says property of the United States of America. It doesn't even belong to you anyway. <laughs> it's not your money. You're just borrowing it. So if it's not, you're just holding it on to for, you know, for a little bit or Canadian money, which is the property of you know, Captain Kangaroo. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Captain, <laughs> Captain Kangaroo Monopoly or Parker Brothers. Uh, so it's, 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 uh, it's the same thing. So if, if you're just holding on to it for a while and if you bask in the word no, when you're listening to your counterpart, right, really listen to what they have to say, really absorb and, un, and be empathetic to the situation. And there's nothing wrong with saying, I would absolutely be delighted to help you, but not at this number, like not going to happen. Uh, you know, I know you want 4 million, 5 million, 6 million, 10 million, 100 million for whatever you want or whatever you, you know, are looking for. But these numbers just as much as I'd love to help you, I can't, it's, I can't do it is the numbers won't let me do it. There's a big difference between can't and won't. We can maybe have a different uh, podcast on that, yeah. but it really makes a huge difference uh, on how you communicate that. But listening, so this is morphed into sort of two different lessons here, is listen to your counterpart and so you really understand what they're saying and being present for that. And two, don't be afraid of saying the word no. It's not going to happen. All right. So Gabe, I don't know if you have anything more to add. No, to that. in fact, no should always be the first word that comes to mind and, and then just apply it in, in the context. But active listening and, uh, you know, just don't don't send your seller in the wrong direction. If you make it clear, uh, it's fair to you, it's fair to them, and your, your, your whole process will be a lot clearer and better that way. And not, this is not just in, in, in buying and selling, this is in life in general, right? <clears throat> Someone wants you, to tell you, wants you to do something that you know you can't do. Uh, I, I'm guilty of this, saying yes, yes, yes to everything, and then realize I've overcommitted, right? I've learned I can't do it. I can't, not going to happen. Not going to do it. Not going to do it. Don't, the time doesn't allow me to do it. The time doesn't allow me to do it. I haven't budgeted the time to do it. And if you say no to everything, you suddenly have a lot more time. And those that really, 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 the, the things that are the most important, you'll actually budget for. And you'll be very, much more successful by learning how to say no more. And active listening at the same time. You're not saying no just to say no. <clears throat> Again, through an ABC response mechanism, you can have the, you know, the, 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 the uh, the I guess the ninja the ninja move, uh, the verbal judo of acknowledging it, <clears throat> responding to it accordingly, and then giving them a command so they can actually get your time, or you know get access to you or get access to your money or you know do business with you or whatever that is. There's a there's a really elegant way of saying things and positioning things where you know you look like an ace while you're doing it and it doesn't seem combative at all, which is very important. Which is another podcast for another day. But um, I think we nailed it kind of sort of maybe um i think you got the point which is the point of the podcast short sweet it's a morsel something that you can really dig your teeth into and enjoy 
So A, don't rob people of the opportunity of hope by giving, stringing them along. Be honest, be direct, and listen to what they're actually saying. And remember, if you say no to one thing, uh, you have the option of saying yes to everything else. As soon as you say yes to one thing, you're saying no to everything else. And I think that put into perspective might be very powerful for you and uh, give you the necessary tool or insight to be able to do something and action that in your life. And uh, that's exactly what we want. Gabe, appreciate you very much. Frank, thanks for not being here today. Uh, we've got the podcast done a lot sooner. <laughs> Just kidding, Frank. Love you to pieces. And uh, listener, uh, you're the best. Appreciate you. Uh, again, like it, love it, share it, uh, subscribe. Uh, make sure that you uh, leave a, a, a comment. We're, we're, no, we're going towards the 2,000 reviews now. Uh, let's see if we can uh, get that done pretty quickly. And I appreciate you very much. And uh, you have yourself a great life. Listen more and don't commit to things and give people hope that, uh, you know, that's not fair to them and certainly not fair to you as well because you're going to feel like shit for over committing and over promising and under delivering. Been there, done that, got the t-shirt in the video. It took me 10 years to get out of that trap. So good lessons. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. Ta-ta for now. If you like this episode of Big Fat Real Estate Checks, then show some love by leaving a comment and a good rating. Also, as a thank you for tuning in today, we've got a special free gift. The journey to passive cash flow for a life starts by finding deals, and it's easier than you think. Simply go to getdealsbytuesday.com, enter your email address, and we'll send you a free quick start course called Deals by Tuesday. Even if it's 11 p.m. Monday night, this course will show you how to find discounted real estate deals by Tuesday. It's that fast and simple. Go to getdealsbytuesday.com and start your journey toward life-changing cash flow today. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you on the next episode. Mm -hmm.